Hey, how is everybody doing? Hello, I'm hoping you are enjoying this this fabulous Friday. I am so excited. I'm so excited to be before you all here and where nonprofits gather. For those who don't know, my name is Michelle McDonald. I'm the CEO and founder of Serica Enterprises and the founder of this group, Where Nonprofits Gather. I want to welcome all of our new members who've recently joined this past couple of weeks, these past couple of weeks. And I wanna say hello to everyone who has been con continued to be a part of the community. Please feel free to share. We do have the days of the week where we have different um, topics of discussion. And if you have any information about your nonprofit, please feel free to share. And today is Freedom Friday, so you are able to share, go live about your business, about your nonprofit, about your event. So today I am going to go live because I noticed that there are always a lot of questions, especially for people who are just starting out with nonprofits. A lot of questions on what to do, where to go, or maybe you haven't started yet and you just need to know what questions to ask and some direction. So I created a tips and templates bundle. Um, it's a digital product and it's made up of tips and it also has some templates, hence the name, Tips and Templates Bundle, that I have put together based on my over 20 year experience in community outreach, being a small business owner, and also uh, producing nonprofit events. So it's just vitally important that you have some tools in your arsenal. Now this is really good for people who are just starting out or people who just need a refresher. Now what's in the bundle? I have my notes to make sure that I don't um, forget um, all the things that are in this absolutely great uh, tips and templates bundle that I have. The first are tips on how to start. Some people, um, get intimidated by oh my goodness i want to start a nonprofit, but how do i get started where do i go what do i do well i put together some tips it's like a road map to get you to where you need to go and the tips are also good starting points for questions if you want to sit down with a consult consultant like myself i also offer consultation services next public speaking tips one of the reasons why in this group I encourage people to go live is because public speaking is so vitally important to your nonprofit. So I put tips together on how you can maximize public speaking. Back when I got started with nonprofits, um, public um, social media really wasn't a thing. Um, it was not even in existence when I was in college, but as I took on my position at the American Heart Association in the early 2000s, um, like 06, seven um, Facebook was becoming more and more popular and now you have to whether you're in business or you have a nonprofit you have to have a social media um, presence and the key thing with that is to go live and to communicate to the people that you will be communicating with your target market your sponsors your partners your volunteers so I have tips that will assist you in getting over some of those hesitations that you might have about going live. Um, next is event sponsorship tips. Um, it's really important to know how to put together an event, um, whether it's virtually, virtual, whether it is in person. I put together some event sponsorship tips um, and also fundraising tips on how to get started. Again, this tip, this tips and templates bundles is a nice thing to start off with in starting your journey. Um, event sponsorships is really um, a great way to provide visibility for your event and also raise funding and build up partnerships. And I have tips listed. Next, volunteer recruitments. I see a lot of times people are lacking support and lacking um, um, how to retain good volunteers when you have volunteers. So I have tips on how to recruit and retain volunteers. You're not always gonna be able to get all your family members, all, although that is really nice for support, but you really wanna interview your volunteers the way you would interview any other member of a paid staff. So that's important as well. 
Next, um, I have sponsors proposal, sponsorship proposal tips. A lot of people know that they need sponsors, but they just don't know what would go good and what would what is uh, necessary for a sponsorship proposal. So I put together some tips that will assist you in that process. But one of the key things is that you want to make sure that you are communicating um, effectively with your potential sponsor on who you are, but at the same time, really listening. That's we got two of these and one of these, and listening to that potential sponsor on what their needs are because you want to make sure that it is a good fit. Um, the next two um, items that I have oh no, I forgot um, before I get into the templates is how to monetize. You all have a wealth of knowledge in you. As, as long as you've been living, do you attain? A wealth of knowledge for your nonprofit there's no reason why you would shouldn't be able to monetize some of that knowledge and create a digital product just like I have and use that as a fundraiser for your organization now mind you, you want to make sure that you're following all the rules according to your state on fundraising but it is a wonderful way to fund your um, nonprofit. I know people who have a small business and its purpose is they have a portion of that proceeds. It goes right to their nonprofit. Now for the templates. One of the big questions that I have is I don't know how to ask. I don't know what words to put together. And you don't want to have something generic, but this template will help you give you the foundation to create something that's going to be your own and that you will be able to sit send out to potential partners via email so that they will know how to um, get in contact with you they will know about you and then really requesting a meeting so that you can explore that's why it's called an exploratory um, meeting request letter because you want to explore the possibilities because you may get in there and may realize that there's it's not a good fit for your organization but then again it might be and then finally the in-kind donation letter um, sometimes they, they may not be in a position or you may seek out a spe specific business because they have specific items you would like for them to donate for your event, let's say if you have having a back to school rally and you were to go to a local uh, department store or a um, office supply store and you wanted book bags, that is a specific item. And this is this letter that I put together will assist you. You'll have the foundation and to make it your own when you're requesting that. So I wanted to share what was in it. The price is $50, which is a tremendous value. I'm doing that in celebration of my birthday day month the wealth of information that is in here you can take that and utilize that to go after sponsorships and um, obtain volunteers and also utilizing the public speaking tips especially um, utilizing that for your monetizing tips and creating a product there's really um, no limit to the amount of money that you can earn based on sharing your knowledge based on um, monetizing that information and also going after those sponsorships and that in kind those in kind donations so again thank you so much for joining me on this live I will put the link to the digital product it is on payhip and again it is only fifty dollars but you get this wealth of information and knowledge if you want to connect with me you can also connect with me through my website, sericaenterprises.com. That's S-A-E-R-I-C-A, enterprises.com. And I'll also put that link in there as well. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.